Hello, pen friends. It's JK Pens, and I'm here to show you uh, one of the pens I got for Christmas. So my wife bought me this Monte Grappa pen, um, and it's really lovely. So we're going to take a look at it, and then I'll go over it in some detail. So this is the Monte Grappa Elmo, which is their uh, base model. It's an all acrylic pen. Of course, Monte Grappa pens get very fancy and very complicated and uh, very expensive. Um, but this is uh, an entry level, essentially all acrylic pen. There's some metal bits, which we'll talk about, but, but it's essentially an acrylic turned pen. Um, this particular one is in a finish called Graffiti Turquoise, uh, which is a gold spot pens exclusive. Um, and it's a, just a really lovely, lustrous color. So with that preface, we'll dive in and uh, go over the pen. The pen is a classic cigar shape uh, with rounded ends, and it has this uh, clip with a roller ball, um, nice, nice bit of spring to it, fairly stiff. Um, that is actually reminiscent of the clips on other Monte Grappa pens, and I'll show you another pen a little bit later in the video. Um, on the cap, the Monte Grappa logo is etched and then uh, filled with uh, some silver paint or something. So uh, that's a, a nice touch. Uh, it looks really, it looks really good. Um, there is one band. The band is actually not on the cap. The band is actually on the barrel uh, where the section and the cap meet the barrel. Okay, it's a twist-off cap as you can see. It uh, one half, one. A little less than one and a half um, twists to get it off, and it is a single start. So, among other things, that means you can't, uh, you know, you sometimes have to start somewhere and get going, so it takes a little longer. But it also means that if you are like me and you like to actually line up the designs, uh, you don't have any choice about how to do that. That's one of the fun things about triple start caps to me, as I can, if I'm feeling really like I have nothing better to do, I can pick which of the starting positions gives the best lineup in the finish between the um, cap and the body. But anyways, none of that's a deal breaker. And they are nice uh, beefy threads in the acrylic here, so I don't worry about them um, wearing out over time or anything. And very smooth, very little play. So I, I really like the, the construction of the, of the cap and the threads. The um, nib is a standard for Monte Grappa's uh, steel nibs. This is a Yovo number no. six nib engraved with Monte Grappa's distinctive sort of uh, parquet tile um, design. Uh, and we'll get back to this nib in a little bit, but I'll just mention it's a friction fit nib, kind of a standard plastic feed, uh, nothing too exciting. Um, if we open up the pen, um, it is uh, acrylic, but there is this metal part what, that the converter attaches to, so I would not eyedropper this pen, although otherwise it seems like it would be fine. It's a solid barrel. But, um, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of eyedroppering pens anyway, so to me that's, that's oh, actually, no, I, I take that back. There's metal inside the body of the pen as well. Um, oh, that's why it doesn't look translucent here. So that's an interesting design decision. I can't, maybe it's for strength? I don't know. Interesting. The, the reason I say that's interesting is that that actually means that although you can see the, um, you can't actually see the converter. I thought that was a converter I was saying. That's actually that metal inside. You can barely make out the converter knob, but it means you can't see, you can't take advantage of the translucence to see the ink level. Um, so that's kind of odd. I wonder why that metal's in there. Again, the only thing I can think of is that maybe it's strength. I don't, I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, Monteverdi pens come with a logo uh, converter, and it's a twist-in converter, which is nice. I tend to like the twist-ins because, you know, the push-ins sometimes get loose with age. Um, and otherwise, it's an unremarkable kind of standard international type uh, converter. So that's an overview of the pen. Before we go on and talk about the nib and the writing experience, spoiler, not good. Um, I thought I'd compare it to the other kind of entry level, again, for Monte Grappa pen model, which is the Fortuna. Um, so you can see that they are very similar in size, uh, but very different in design. The Fortuna has this very distinctive, uh, it's flat on both ends, uh, but then it has this kind of wide cap. Um, I think I've seen this referred to as almost like a baseball bat design, this sort of bulbous cap. Um, and I think that's kind of a like it or hate it 
uh, feature. I think some people like the style, uh, some don't. It, I, I, I like it fine. I, I only have this one. But they come in a number of finishes, and I'm, I'm sort of intrigued by the Fortuna. And I, I, I could envision getting another one someday. Um, and the Fortuna also has this metal finial with 1912, which I assume is the founding year of Monte Grappa. Um, and then it has the same style of nib. In fact, we can just look at these side by side. They are more or less identical. Um, this one happens to be a medium, uh, and this one happens to be a fine. The stamping is a little different, which is kind of interesting. The stamping is deeper on this one and a little more um, detailed on this one. But uh, I don't know what that's about. But I, I, I think it's just which run they were in, probably, at uh, Yovo. Same kind of feed, both friction fit. And this one has the same converter. So, you know, just to put it in perspective, the um, the Elmo runs 200 or a bit less, depending on the finish and the retailer. The Fortuna tends to run, you know, 220-ish and up US dollars. Um, again, depending on the finish and the retailer. Um, this particular one is another gold spot uh, pen. This is the Fortuna in Starry Night, uh, which uh, I think we used to be called Space. And when I got it the box I think said planets so I guess they're trying different marketing names for this um, finish it's a really nice finish actually I'm surprised they're not sold out of it it is as of the recording of this video it was on sale for $236 on the gold spot website um, this one is neat uh, because it has this engraving of the solar system and then it has this acrylic with multiple colors anyways we're not here to talk about this pen anymore other than to say again as a prelude uh, that it has uh, the same type of nib, but this one is a medium and it writes really well. This pen has, uh, is, has a really nice writing experience. Um, one difference between the two I should mention is the sections are actually very different in sort of design philosophy. The section on the Fortuna is actually uh, convex uh, very slightly, um, sort of not quite straightish. Uh, but almost straight. And then the uh, the section on the Elmo is concave and sort of hugs your fingers. Um, yeah, and I haven't done a long writing uh, session with this yet, but my instincts are I think I will find this very comfortable because of the way it hugs my fingers. Um, and this one, um, I remember using, I haven't inked this for a while, but I remember thinking it's just okay, especially because I tend to run my fingers up against these metal threads, which are not hugely sharp or anything, but they're also not super comfortable. So I have a feeling I'm gonna like the Elmo. It's a little lighter as well um, than this particular one for some reason, maybe just the amount of plastic, uh, excuse me, resin in this one. Um, so I have a feeling this is gonna be a very comfortable pen. Uh, it's just barely big enough for my hand when unposted. It's a nice size and not unbalanced. The balance is of course different, uh, but it's not unbalanced when posted. So I can imagine using this one either way. However, as it stands now, I don't imagine using this pen much at all because the nib that uh, came on it is atrocious. It is one of the worst nibs I have received um, on a new pen. This is the Montever, nope, almost said it, Montegrappa <laughs> Elmo. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it, it's kind of dry. And I'm going to hold it up to the mic. It's scratchy. And the sad thing is that this is actually better than I received it because I flossed the tines, lined the tines, uh, flushed the pen, and I tried a couple different inks. Um, and nothing really helped much. Um, and it is not really tolerable as it is. So I just think this is a bad bum nib, um, which is really unfortunate because I was looking forward to using this new pen a lot. I could swap in the nib from the Fortuna, which is a medium, and I know it writes well. So I might do that for a while, but ultimately I'm gonna have to get a replacement nib or send this for tuning or, or something, which is a bummer because you know it's a nice pen and it's a shame that uh, my wife probably spent I don't know if she got it on sale or anything, but you know, somewhere between 170 and 200 dollars on this pen, and I think at that price point, a pen should just come working. Especially when you know this, the pen I reviewed most recently, this 10 dollar uh, ish platinum prefount writes like a dream compared to this. It's just nice and juicy and fluid, and this is they are fine. They're 03. So, so that part is a bit of a letdown, to be honest. But it's a beautiful pen. It's, I think it's worth the investment of time uh, to get it writing well. 
And I think once I do, I'll, I'll really enjoy writing with this. So that is my review of the Montegrap uh, Elmo Graffiti Turquoise. And thanks as always for watching. Bye-bye.